Well, it is hot. We all know that and the demand for power is holding up so far, but that might not be the case as we approach the summer months. The state agency that manages our power grid, ERCOT, released a new report today revealing some interesting information and concerning information. Fox 26's Rashi Vats joins us live in studio after looking into that. That's right. So right now, take a look at this. We're in the green. This is Urquhart's power grid maker or conditions marker that is. So the sun is red heart, even though this is green. And a new report by Urquhart says that the grid should be able to handle it. But we're breaking down the numbers. Can we handle the heat? It's the big question, not just for us, but the whole nation, according to the director of Houston based Consumer Energy Alliance. It's a leading energy and environmental advocate for families and businesses. You know, North Dakota and Montana issuing concerns about capacity shortfalls. So this isn't anything that's unique to Texas. This is something that's going on. California has had issues, obviously. So this is something that's going on across the country right now. And um, I think grid operators need to take a strong look at their resources and make sure that they can meet demand. Our grid operator released a report called Sarah or the Summer Seasonal Assessment of Resource Adequacy Report. In Texas, we could use as much as 77,317 megawatts during a day at the season's peak. Previous record was 74,800 megawatts set in August of 2019. Do we have the supply? ERCOT's report says yes. As much as 91,392 megawatts is available. But this is only under normal system conditions. The report also says that ERCOT expects peak demand records this summer. But if you're having, uh, you know, demand, um, excuse me, supply shortages, uh, this early in this in the year, I mean, I, you know, I, this isn't peak Texas heat, right, in May. So, you know, in August when it's really hot, you know, who knows what's going to happen. If the wind isn't blowing, right, because Texas does rely a lot on wind power. And if the wind isn't blowing and it's really hot, then, you know, or if other resources can't respond, then, you know, you're, you're going to have, um, they're going to have decisions to make. Hot weather and six power generation facilities tripping offline for a reason that we still don't know yet. It hasn't been released to the public. It's still why we had to conserve recently and it worked. We are now in the green. Tomorrow, ERCOT is supposed to speak about current conditions and we'll be sure to let you know what they say. For now, reporting live in studio, Rashi Vats, Fox 26 News.